The year was 1962, right here in River City. Yes, Mason City, Iowa was buzzing. Hollywood was coming to town for a premiere of a movie. What a party it was going to be. In 1962, the premiere happened here. Warner Brothers flew in uh, all Hollywood uh, stars and uh, Arthur Godfrey was the MC. Uh, the uh, premiere actually happened in the Palace Theater. There were so many local festivities um, that the premiere didn't start until after nine o'clock in the evening. The reason it was all happening in that Iowa town was that their favorite son had created the movie, The Music Man. Meredith Wilson was born and raised here, forever his home. Meredith was born in 1902 in the house directly adjacent to this building on the Music Man Square campus. It is uh, uh, restored authentically to the time that the Wilson family lived there. Yes, he had talent and he had a calling. Wilson was on his way up and man, did he climb high. He played with the New York Philharmonic. Uh, he then went to uh, Hollywood and he became eventually the music director for NBC Radio. As such, he uh, worked with all of the big uh, Broadway and radio uh, stars, uh, all of the Hollywood performers and New York performers. But his signature was yet to come. See, the Mason City Museum is a shrine to Wilson, a tribute to his great creation that took over the country. The Music Man, set in 1912, they have recreated the movie set. It is a place to teach, to dream, to discover. Today we're holding a teacher's workshop, a master's workshop, so chill, our teachers can come in and what we're teaching them today is how to use music in the classroom for science and math curriculum and extended reading opportunities. And they use the music uh, to take and then take it back to the classroom for kids because kids learn better when they use music. See, what Meredith Wilson did was probably even more than he envisioned. He met presidents and became an artistic icon. His love for music and entertainment made him a giant in the industry. Warner Brothers spent $200,000 in 1962 for this uh, big uh, nationwide premiere. Uh, there were over 116 bands, I believe, that marched in a national band competition. Bands came from all over the country. But what is just as impressive is that it has stood the test of time. The Music Man is still being performed by high schools across the country. It piques the interest of many on coming to Mason City. And it is performed in over 500 venues all around the world each year. So we have uh, about 60,000 tourists and visitors that come to Mason City. And uh, most of them come here specifically to see the Music Man Square. This is a 40,000 square foot complex and again, the streetscape is the center spine. Uh, it is reflective of uh, River City, 1912, when Meredith Wilson uh, was growing up as a boy. Yes, this facility is a constant reminder of what once was and what is today. I would say my favorite part of Main Street here in the Music Man Square is on Thursday afternoons when I'm doing my kids' music classes, we always end with a parade down Music Man Square and to see three and four and five year olds picking out an instrument and marching to Meredith Wilson's 76 trombones. What is impressive as you walk through this back in time building is not just to think how big Wilson became, but to think of who he was and how he never forgot that. It was always interesting that all the film clips we have and uh, all the uh, uh, television shows that he appeared on and any interview he did, he always said, I'm Meredith Wilson from Iowa. Many times it was from Mason City, Iowa, but he claimed Iowa as his home. Uh, he wrote The Music Man as a valentine to Iowa. In fact, he was not just born here. When he died in 1984, he was laid to rest here. His uh, funeral was here in the Congregational Church, and his um, grave site uh, is in a cemetery here in Mason City as well. You can feel it. The man who just wanted to make music and made the music man. The legacy living on beyond his wildest dreams. It is still cherished today, still treasured today as an example of true Americana. Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch. 
Photography for a Lifetime.